Yo, what's going on guys? DJS here bringing you guys this week's Collective Kicks weekly recap and it is Friday the 16th of May and we have a lot of news this week. Actually, not that much news. We have big news though for the small amount that we do have. So let's go ahead and jump in. The very first one, I'm actually going to click this one because this one's huge. Um, in the world of LeBrons, they actually finally unveiled the 2K14 LeBrons today and believe it or not, these are them and I, I guess I don't... I don't hate the shoes. I'm just very confused by them. Actually, I think they're dope. I, I like the I like pretty much everything except for the foam posit with the, the 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 tiger print on them. I just don't understand that concept. I think the upper looks sick. I like the gold accents. Um, I think the, even the inner liner looks dope. I just don't understand the point of this sneaker. Um, if you guys have some sort of information or more information was um, is is like available for us out there on this. Leave a comment. And let me know. But as far as I know, it looks like a uh, a lion print, or excuse me, a tiger print, not a lion. But it's ironic because there's the lion head on the lace lock, and LeBron's known as obviously um, King James, and you know lions, and I, there's lots of uh, correlations with lions, not tigers. So I'm like, why is there a tiger print on a 2K14 sneaker? No branding of 2K14 that is visible on the images that they've shown us so far. Um, but you have this cheetah slash lion print on it I, I or a uh, tiger print on it I, I don't understand that conceptually do I think it looks cool I think it looks okay uh, I definitely want to see them in person um, before I can give you guys a, like a full like breakdown but I'm not one of those people that just looks at the shoe and goes trash like uh, there's a lot of people I see on Twitter all the time it's just going they, they, they just on honestly um, are just calling sneakers trash before they really uh, like see more, but you know what? If that they're base, they're basing that on their own opinion, and that's that's more than okay. I don't want to call them trash. I'm very like confused, and I definitely want to see more uh, of the sneaker, and I definitely want to have them in hand and see how they look in hand and the materials that they use and what's different. They were 220. Hopefully, it will have a really cool box. Hopefully, they'll have some sort of a story as to the reason why it is the print that it is. Um, but for those people that were saying from the beginning that it was going to be the 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 what the LeBron 11s, it's not obviously, um, which kind of like if if you if I had to think about it, like I would have honestly probably want the what the LeBron 11s more than these as of right now because those what the LeBron 11s have really cool inspirations on some of the the, the classic LeBrons and ones you can't get your hands on, such as the Fruity Pebble LeBron fours and and so on. So. I, I really like conceptually those sneakers, and hopefully I'll be able to get those in my hands as well. But these are just very, very interesting, to say the least. I know there's going to be some people in the comment se section saying they look horrible. Uh, I want to give it a fair shake before I say anything. They should be shipping first week in June or delivered first week in June. Rumor has it. Who knows? It's been delayed so many times over and over again. But the official images are out there at least. Um, so weigh in in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Also, another big news. Um, Adidas uh, is adding the ZX Flux to um, my Adidas, which is like their Nike ID um, version. And I've actually tried to design something on that site before, and it totally crashed on me. Like I tried to design some D Roses, and it was just a horrible experience, so I haven't been back. But these ones um, are actually allowing you to upload your own photos and create your own like design. And I'm curious how many people are going to take that uh, uncensored like aspect of, of creating an Adidas sneaker and see what limits they're going to be able to push with nudity and violence and Lord knows what else. But but you could see the artistic side of things. It looks really dope. Uh, there's so many cool things you could probably do with this, and it's definitely something that piques my interest. Rumor has it it's going to be available in, in August, so stay tuned for more information on that. Uh, when it becomes available, um, I'm definitely going to be looking at it, the service and just to see what, um, what it is, and then and hopefully I'll get one of those sneakers done just so you guys can see it for those that don't want to spend the money on it. Uh, I don't even know the price point. I don't know if Sneaker Stork, um, who wrote the article, um, added the price point or if there's any knowledge of that yet. Um, also, the KD6 um, Nike ID gets an MVP print now um, that has like a bunch of different numbers and whatnot. I'm sure that those numbers have some some some, some sort of meaning. I don't know what the meaning is, but uh, but you can do a bunch of different color combinations between the number print and the upper, and also has that kind of cracked midsole that looks pretty cool. Um, some people were kind of pissed because KD they feel like KD got robbed because he just has a MVP. Um, Nike ID print versus LeBron having an MVP sneaker. So I'm not sure if he's going to – I mean, they, he had a one-of-one one Nike ID, 
But uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do with that and if that's the only thing they're going to do for him. Regardless, I think it's a cool idea. And what would have happened? That was my big question. What would have happened if LeBron did win the MVP this year? Do you think they would have gone the Nike ID route or not? Um, because the last two years or whatever, they they haven't. Um, so I'm curious to say to, – to, I mean, it's like we'll never know because LeBron didn't win MVP. Um, KD did. And if you didn't see KD's speech um, – accepting it like like it was just dope like it, it was like super super heartfelt and touching just a great great speech uh from kd so very deserving uh in my opinion this year okay so uh complex sneakers wrote in an article on the 20 best Saucony collaborations um amazing uh list excuse me and uh and it's really like a nice compiled list and i just kind of showed you a couple of them you guys need to check the link to go to complex and see the rest of it um, let's see here. Joe Rodriguez did an article, Jordan Future Info. There's a ton. There's like 16 different Jordan Futures coming out. So I'm pretty sure that these things are going to be pretty widely available. There's only a couple of them, colorways that I really even want uh, out of that, those. But uh, but it's crazy that they've expanded so much. It's pretty nuts. Also, the Lance Mountain Nike SB Air Jordan 1s. You get an on-feet look of those with the white kind of rubbed off on both of them, um, which reveal a, a bread uh, one and a Royal one, which looks dope. Um, more information to come on those. I mean, I think they come out in June or something like that. Um, fragment design, we get a kind of a preview of a Nike KD six elite with this kind of blue suede look, uh, unlike the LeBron 11 with the blue suede with the black accents. This one has white accents and, uh, it looks kind of interesting. I definitely want to see more on that as well. Also Nike air trainer, um, three medicine ball article, um, written by Adam. And then also I did a video on this for 35% off of eBay or East Bay purchases, um, including clearance, some clearance items, not all of them. Um, some people were kind of like, ha ha, what are you, you're doing a, an article on East Bay when you trashed them like a year ago or two years ago, whatever. Um, you know, it was one, one dude that was doing the social media for East Bay and they kind of re- replied back to uh, a, a message that I sent them. Uh, in a very, they reply back in an unprofessional manner. Uh, that's pretty much the bottom line. And, um, I mean, I'm not one to really hold grudges like that. Like I don't support, I haven't bought anything from East Bay since then, but I know that there's other people, um, that work at East Bay that aren't bad people and stuff. And they had good deals and 35% off 15% off with Ebates plus a 20% off coupon. It's a good deal for you guys. So it gives you guys the opportunity to shop there. Um, as well. So I'm not trying to boycott anything. I'm just, you know, you, everybody has their personal preferences for shopping at places and stuff. And I think that's a, a good op- opportunity for you guys if you guys are interested. And if I saw anything there that I wanted to get or or really like, then I would have um, bought. But anyway, we get a look at an Air Trainer 1 paid in full um, sneaker, which is kind of like um, Eric B and uh, Rakim, like their group or whatever. Like it's Pretty dope looking sneaker. It's kind of a 90s hip hop inspired sneaker, from what I understand. I'm not, I don't think it has to do with the same theme as the paid in full um, Nike Free 5.0s that I ended up getting in from Champ Sports and doing a review on. So interestingly enough, um, it's just both have the same name, I, I, as far as I know. The Nike Tech Fleece jogger pants actually have been restocked, and they're still available, I believe. So they must have just made a mass amount of these. But if they're one of those ones that you guys wanted to get. Um, they have them in both the gray and the black colorway. They look like just dope um, joggers. Um, so, yeah, I mean, stay tuned. I might have some unboxing videos uh, from those. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I believe they're still available even now of the time of me doing this video. So feel free to check that out. I believe it's in the full size run uh, of uh, the joggers. Uh, Nike introduces the, the Lunar um, uh, Janowski SB. And so it's just basically the Janowski sneaker with uh, the SB soles on them. Pretty uh, pretty cool for those that want that added comfort. Um, the Air Jordan 6 Brazil pack is supposedly limited to 2,000 pairs. So I'm not sure. I'm sure obviously the hype train is going to be moving in on those. I'm still kind of like, eh, they look kind of cool. Supposedly they have really premium materials, and I'd like to see them in person. Um, I'm not a huge fan of green and yellow just because obviously the Oregon Ducks are green and yellow. I'm sure people will make their Oregon Duck customs out of those. Uh, regardless, so but it's obviously the Brazil um, uh, inspired Jordan sixes. Also, with uh, kind of another theme, an Air Jordan six, you get a red leather and green new colorway. Supposedly, this is a history of flight or something like that. Air Jordan six. Um, I didn't do an updated article on this one yet. Honestly, my website is causing me a lot of problems and it makes it really difficult to make 
updates until we get moved on to the new server, which week after week we're not. So I'm, I need, still need to work with my web guy and try to get him to migrate because it's just it's uh, driving me crazy here. But uh, anyway, we, there's a lot more detailed images of these sneakers in there. And actually, I don't mind the red upper uh, leather. I think it looks good. The green accents I'm kind of like on the fence with. I wish that those were black, and I also kind of wish that it was a black uh, midsole. But uh, but that's just me. I mean, I like I like the red and black um, Chicago Bulls look. That added hits of green just reminds me of Christmas for that. But uh, it is what it is. We get official Im images, obviously, of the, the 5 Lab 3 black reflective Jordan 3s. They drop on Saturday. I'm trying um, as hard as I can to get these. I really, really dig those shoes. I think they look really sick. Way better than the, the silver reflective, in my opinion. I just think that they look so dope. Um, I tried in a raffle at House of Hoops, missed out on the, the RSVP from Nike, and uh, I'll try online uh, tomorrow morning. But, uh, man, good luck to those trying to cop those. Uh, this weekend's a crazy weekend in general, so I'm curious to what uh, you guys are going to be wanting to cop. The Supremes Vans collaboration uh, release info basically happened, um, was it yesterday morning? Friday morning? Thursday morning? I think it was Thursday morning. Uh, and so those dropped. There was actually six different um, pairs that dropped. So if you guys wanted to get those, hopefully you guys lucked out and got a pair. I believe they actually restocked at some point today on Friday, but uh, but I don't uh, I, I don't know which colorways and whatnot. I just saw some stuff on Twitter on that. But check Supreme's website. They might still have a couple in stock. Uh, um, P. Jung, I don't know how to say his name correctly. I apologize. Did an article on what happened uh, to T.O., uh, if you guys are interested in hearing about that, he was selling a lot of his sneakers and stuff. I actually didn't read the article yet. I haven't had a chance to, but if uh, you want to know more about what was going on, check that article out. Also, um, Chance Rapper and Dockers get um, Ready Campaign article from Joe Manning. And also, um, the uh, oh yeah, the, the Air Jordan 2 um, Dark Concords were available at Finish Line last week. They might still be available. I don't think they actually even sold out. Uh, which I actually really dig these. Out of all the, the new colorways of the Jordan 2s, minus the infrareds, I, I like the infrared ones the best, and I actually like the Concords um, the second best. The ones in the night shades and stuff I don't really like as much, um, but that's just me. Um, Ubic, I, is that how you say that? I don't even know how to say the name. I don't know why. I, I Why am I not saying that right? I, I look at it and want to say Ubic, but I know that's right. I know that's not right. UBQ? I don't know what the hell it's called. Anyway, the A6 Gel um, 5 Midnight Blossoms drop uh, this Saturday. Um, so if you guys are trying to get these online, it's this Saturday um, on their website. And they look dope, in my opinion. They have just a bunch of mango kind of variations and that hit of, like, like almost army green. I don't know. It just looks like a fresh sneaker to me. I really like the overall um, appeal of that, sh of that shoe. For some reason, it reaches out to me, so I might try to pick up if I can. Uh, lastly, there's the Way of Way 2. Encore Miami Vice colorway. Some people aren't really loving it. It's definitely a strong one. Um, it's definitely vibrant. And if you like sneakers that stick out or stand out, then uh, those ones are definitely uh, ones that top that list. Um, the release dates are not updated, but you guys already know. Hopefully you know there's a ton of releases this weekend. The Penny Pack is one of them right here. You can see the Shooting Star uh, Penny Pack. I covered that last week. That is dropping the the, the Air Jordan 2s, the Air Jordan um, I don't even know what the heck. The there's two different colorways: the Volts and uh, another colorway of the uh, what did I just call them on the other page? These guys right here, the Futures. There's two colorways of those dropping. There's there's just so much stuff dropping this weekend. Leave a comment. Let me know uh, if you guys are planning on picking up anything. And then if you're watching this video after the weekend. Leave a comment. Let me know what you ended up picking up. But that's pretty much all we got for this week's weekly recap. I do have some other videos on the way. I might have another one today from some fan art that I still haven't updated. Um, and it's really, really a dope piece. So I hope I can get it up today. Um, if not today, it will be up tomorrow for sure. But I have a bunch of – I just have a bunch of things going on with the new move to the new house and trying to rent out my old – my old townhouse and stuff. There's just a lot of stuff going on. But hopefully you guys have a good day today. I'm DJing a fashion show today. I'm DJing a wedding tomorrow. Got a bunch of uh, bunch of things going on this week. So busy dude. Uh, but I wanted to reach out and do this video, especially with the, the Nike LeBron 11s, um, 2K14s being unveiled. Like that's the biggest news. Leave a comment mostly on that. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? And what's the inspiration? Take it easy, guys. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.